to a horrific scene still unfolding there tonight after Russian missiles slammed into a crowded shopping mall in the center of that country. At least 15 dead so far, dozens hurt. And this question tonight, did air raid sirens save many others? ABC's James Longman, our foreign correspondent, live on the scene for us tonight. James? Yeah, David, you can see a huge recovery effort still underway here tonight. They're trying to get as much rubble as they can out of that building. A crane there trying to secure it, too. But President Zelensky has said that he's hoping an air raid siren may have given people the notice they needed to get out in time. Tonight, one of the deadliest Russian attacks on Ukraine since this war began. A shopping mall bombed from the sky. The fiery aftermath captured here in video circulating online. Officials declaring the attack in Ukraine's central city of Kremenchuk a mass casualty event. President Zelensky says there were more than a thousand civilians here at the time. Just look at the level of damage here. The air is thick with smoke. It is acrid. It burns when you breathe. Emergency services all around. They're going to spend all night looking for bodies in the rubble here. And the Ukrainians say there are no legitimate military targets anywhere close to this mall. Ukraine says two Russian bombers took off from a Russian airfield and fired two long-range missiles. You can see this is a recovery operation underway. They're trying to get as much of this rubble out to see if there are any survivors. But look, this is just hell. People who are far away from front line, unfortunately, many of them have died today. This is not only war against Ukraine. If they kill us, they'll get to you. I can see that you're getting a bit emotional. I'm sorry. No, it's not. Don't be sorry. But your man in uniform, it's something... When you see them emotional, you know it means something. Maybe some of these people were my friends. I don't know yet. The attack came as President Biden was meeting in Germany with G7 leaders on how to expand help for Ukraine. President Zelensky joined remotely, repeating his plea for more aid and heavier weapons. The G7 leaders pledged to support Ukraine, quote, for as long as it takes. The U.S. today confirming it would be sending longer-range missile defense systems to Ukraine to combat Russian strikes. And James Longman back with us from that scene tonight. Just a horrific scene playing out there. We know uh, hit with Russian missiles that mall. And tonight the G7 leaders who we saw earlier in the broadcast here meeting with President Biden as well. They've all joined together to condemn the attack tonight as a war crime. Yeah, strong words from the G7 tonight, David. They call it abominable. They said that Vladimir Putin needs to be held to account. But these workers, the millions of people across this country who've been living through this war, they're wondering how, how can Vladimir Putin ever be stopped? David. All right, James Longman in Ukraine tonight. James, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.